Hey everybody, the Joyful Yogini here. I am filming this after my morning workout. Last night I had this vision that was an awesome analogy about relationships. And in particular, if you feel like there is some kind of disconnect, let's say like you feel like maybe you're putting more energy in than your partner is, or maybe you just don't understand, you just, Maybe there's some type of unsatisfaction that, um, who knows, maybe this analogy might be helpful for you. So this all came up because I was having a conversation with my friend who is on the dating scene and um, there was like some things that were happening that she's like, oh, I don't like that, I don't like that, I don't like that. So I had this, this vision in the wee hours of the morning for her and I wanted to share this because just in case you can relate, whether you're in the dating scene or whether you're in a long-term relationship, maybe this could help. So I'm an empath and I feel my way through the world. And so I, I feel people's energy and the exchange of energy within any type of relationship, whether it's a friendship, whether it's a family relationship, whether it's a long-term relationship, dating, whatever, the exchange of energy is important. And it might be more important than you realize. If you're not an empath, you might not be feeling the energy specifically. You might just feel a little bit of, oh, this doesn't feel right, right? So with this conversation with my friend, the relevancy of what I'm about to explain will just bring some context to the analogy. So I was talking about how going on dates, I love to go to wineries, uh, cideries, breweries, I don't know what it has to do with alcohol, but those are just some things. There's, hey, going, uh, going for a trail walk is great, going out for dinner, like there's different things, but I just happened to be mentioning those and there was a purpose behind that. And so, this analogy that I got for her in regards to who she was going on these dates were, were showing me these grape stems. So, you know, if you get a bunch of grapes, you're going to, you have the stems to go with it. And there were no grapes on these stems. They, there was nothing there. So it was really just the stems. When you think about what that has to offer you, that's really just stuff for the compost. There's really not much there. And so that was an analogy for the, the energy of what this person had to offer for her. And so then I asked for, you know, different types of visuals uh, for different people. And so I asked for a visual for myself as an example. Now I am in a place, you know, I, I started a separation process, uh, not this past September, the September before. And so I'm, I'm still in a healing process and I'm still working towards gaining stability uh, within career. So I, I'm still under construction, right? But I still feel like I have a lot to give. And um, something that's really important is if you wanna bring a partner into your life that where you will feel fulfilled and you will feel loved, you first need to work on yourself. You need to love you. You need to spend time on giving yourself the self-care that, that you need and, and working through some of the trauma that you've been through, right? So I was very, I feel like I've done a lot of work and I've also have been working on myself through relationships. So through the, the dating scene and now I, I have been in a relationship for over a year now and I've been, I'm still learning and healing through that relationship. So I was really curious as to the, the type of image that they would give for myself. And the image that they gave me was this, beautiful, it was like a wooden bowl or platter in the center of a dining room table with lots of grapes in there. And then there was different fruits and it was a beautiful display that had so much color and juiciness and joyfulness to offer. It, it was really pleasing to me seeing that image. 
So this is something that you could potentially ask your higher self and your angels and guides, if, if you believe in that, right? I do, it's part of my practice. I work with my spirit team. So if you want to get some type of same information, you first can start by grounding yourself and breathing. Take several nice deep breaths to feel centered, to have your feet grounded, and to feel like you are tuning in to yourself. You can tune into your heart. You can also turn, tune into your third eye. If you're drawn to one more, of the, more than the other, please do so. At this time right now that I'm filming this, I'm feeling like this third eye is really important, but go with your own intuition. Now, some of you maybe getting visual stuff, you don't feel like it's your forte. So this could be uh, one option that you can try, but you can try different things. So if you wanna go for the visual, you can do those breaths and then ask that question, like where, where am I at with this? And then see if an image presents. You might get an image in the middle of the night. Maybe it's in a dream. If you don't feel like you can do that, Maybe you'll get that message in a dream and then you'll be woken up so you can aim to remember that dream. Um, you can also ask for signs, like give me a sign and you can ask for a specific sign. Maybe the sign is gonna be for a fruit, a, a fruit platter and maybe all of a sudden like you'll, you'll see a, a few of them um, you know, whether it's on social media or whether the grocery store you look, you're just all of a sudden drawn to that or someone mentions they're gonna bring a fruit platter. So, um, or, or maybe they're like, yeah, I'm just gonna bring some bananas, you know, or um, anyways. So you can ask for just signs, messages in the way that you want. So I hope this is helpful. If you are interested in a one-on-one -on -one channeled reading and a healing session to assist you with your relationships, or maybe it's just to work on you, uh, you can check out my website, thejoyfulyogini.ca. If you are outside of Canada, uh, don't worry, we can do payments using paypal.me. So it, it's all good, we can make sure it works. From my light to yours, namaste.